Okay, people, so the last episode, we pretty much said that it was going to be the end of the of the videos. As you guys know, the video, the, the, uh, the adventure doesn't end until I land my feet back into in the United Kingdom. So pretty much when I was walking back to uh, my hotel, I thought to go ahead and spend one last trip into a card shop and get myself a box of Secret Unity box. Now this is the first time me opening this up with you guys and it's the first time for me to see it myself. So this is going to be part of the final vlog people if you guys want to know. So if you guys do not like Yu-Gi-Oh pack openings, go ahead and skip ahead if you really want to. But this set contains six different type of boxes which have, play that has sleeves and everything like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing which one I have today. I'm just going to rip open the box to right now people because the box is going to be containing more weight than anything so that's going straight into the chuck in the bin and let's see what box we did we get oh, we got a green one Ooh. Ooh, i like that nice and textured i like it i like it a lot so what monster is consists of this green one oh no way look at the him it's the freaking um psychic dragon psych uh, psycho storm dragon that is amazing oh yeah boys that is awesome and also you do get yourself as well inside the box your own field center card that is awesome too i'm gonna keep them sealed people just to let you guys know but we're here for especially oh wow you get yourself a, a die as well that's really cool too you get some die you get yourself a pack of 100 sleeves Oh man, you get everything in here and you get yourself your own build, build, you know, build your um, own deck box. Oh wow, that's really, really freaking cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in that box really quick and I'll put that to the side. But in this box you get yourself four booster packs of Secret Unity. Um, there's a grand total of 80 cards in the set, uh, 28 common and it looks like 12 holographics. So possibly the 12 cards are going to be the like, most expensive cards you can get in the set. So let's see what can we get. Oh, I can't even get them open without me knocking over the camera. I should do this off camera. Oh, the Japanese do know how to seal products though, Jesus. There we go. Get it open. Oh. She looks like they are all gonna be like special holographics with a bit of glitter in it. Okay, and that's another one there. So we got ourselves a black wing, a gogi. Nice, we got ourselves the zombie there. Um Van Dread. Nice, the new uh, the dolphin for Neil Spatians. Our base actors. Ooh, that is a secret rare right there. I do not know what that one is. It looks like an odd eyes card. Oh, oh look at that. That is the new um, new um, Curse of Dragon, Guy of the Dragon Champion card. Oh, we get a Stone of Ancients. That is really good for the first pack, people. So they are all holographic. That is really, really nice. I like that. No wonder why this box was quite expensive. But like I said, people, I have enough money, people, for tomorrow, well, literally half of tomorrow, because literally, literally, morning, breakfast, and then a bit of dinner, and then literally sleep. So we've got ourselves a patchwork, gem knight, sorcerer, that nature card, that's the, the um, zombie warrior cards, a plant. Oh, I know what that one is. That's that strong um, at Iniesta card. <gasps> oh, wow. That's the new Cybers card. Oh, is that an Elements of Hill card? Let me have ourselves Galaxy Soldier. Oh, wow. Very good, very good cards, to be honest, people. And like I said, the Japanese cards definitely are better top notch quality. 
Next card, next pack, third pack in. Good, good, pretty much good luck right here, people. Really good luck. Some more nature cards, some um, Phantom Knights, Abyss Actors, more natures. Ooh, we got a rocket, that's good. Looks like some sort of speed road card. <sighs> Very good card right there. Uh, Predator Plants. Very good, very good card. Um, Predator Plants, to be honest, though, people are freaking amazing, anyhow, because all you need is super polymerization and then you can just take out anybody's deck. Final pack of Destiny people before we call it a night. Can we get anything amazing? Well, to be honest, we would have to pull something amazing, to be honest, people. Black Wings. Nice. That's what I'm go Oh, yeah, baby, we got Yanagaratsu. Evil Twins. Nice. So, um, Dark Machine card. Um, a, the Performinal cards. That's for the Photon Dragons. And the Blackwing. I tell you what, Yadagratsu, I'll take Yadagratsu anytime because Yadagratsu is actually becoming a lot more meta more than anything. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve these up off camera and I'm going to call it a night, people. So tomorrow, um, like I said, I don't have a clue what's going to go happen tomorrow, but yeah, but it's going to be literally um, me talking a little bit or my, pretty much my experience throughout Japan, my favourite moments, and probably the start of uh, the pictures and everything possibly. Or maybe that's going to be on its own it's on video anyhow i'll see you guys in the morning so there is only literally a few hours left of this journey people so pretty much last night you guys saw me do like a nice little pack opening for you guys so today literally it's now about half nine getting close to ten o'clock i've got a couple of hours left and then i'll be going to literally hitting the hay around about seven o'clock ish eight o'clock at max to wake up around about four or five o'clock, get my bags down to the lobby. My ride picks me up at six o'clock, and then straight to the airport. The airport, I leave the airplane leaves around about nine o'clock, and I'll be back in England pretty much the next day. Pretty much going back in time. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I was thinking of going to Akiba with the GoPro, but I thought to myself, I did it last time. There's no point. So today's special little episode is literally going to be talking about all the best moments I think before we do fly back to uh, England like I said last night today and tomorrow will be more likely to be in one whole video pretty much this is the final episode of the vlogs the next episode will be all the pictures so I'm going to like, like I normally do I always go after some breakfast and then we're going to go and figure out what to do today as you guys know it very well, this was the original shirt that I did say 2020 on it. But then of course I did change it to change it to 2023. So, yeah. I need to think about more about this people because I'll think about all these events that I've had for the, throughout the weeks. I need to think about what's my absolute favourite moment. So, We'll talk more about it when I get my breakfast. Not bad spot to sit down for quite a few hours, for an hour or two and enjoy yourself. So, we're near the Imperial Palace as you guys know. I'm sure you guys already know that type of shit. Now, a lot of people would say now though, have you, you've given yourself a think haven't you Dobsy? On uh, what has been my highlights. Now as you guys know, just to let you guys know, I bought some supplies with me because I know I'm going to be out here for quite some time so I'm probably going to enjoy myself, drink if it's unfair, eat something, you know, you get the gist. But I might as well talk about some of the favourite moments at this moment in time while I'm in this spot. And then when the sun changes and then I start to lose the shade, I'll move over to the other side where there is another park. The park that we saw, um, that it was like, there was nothing there really, there was a few lovely plants and everything, but there was no blossoms or anything like that. Right here, I've got a lovely picture of the, the wall with the trees and the distance with all the uh, buildings. 
I love that type of scene with people. You guys know that too much. Anyhow, one of my, it's hard to do with like a top 10 or anything, because I can't say what my number one is, even though probably you guys may think already know what that is. And I could probably, I could possibly may agree with you, the cherry blossoms. That, that's a moment, big time people. It was like, start off the trip and everything, and I couldn't see a single blossom anywhere. And thinking, oh my god, have I actually not, have I turned up too early? I was panicking, I was trying to look around and everything, and luckily Uncle, when we had a little walk at night, uh, showed me things at night time, and he showed me a little tiny spot where there was cherry blossom trees knocking about. I was gobsmacked, thinking, holy shit, this looks beautiful at night. Thankfully, I got some clips of that in pictures. But mainly, the last two, three days with the cherry blossoms was oh, fantastic, people. absolutely loved it. Uh, other moments that I do remember whilst we're here, the the Kobe beef, the, the steak, the Ginza steak number, Ginza steak shop number two. Um, shop number one is our limits now for me because it has to be reservations only, which is a bit of a ball ball like to be honest. I need to move my hand. Oh, I can move my camera. I can move it here like this. I think. There we go. I think that can see me. Yeah. So yeah, the Kobe the. Um, the, uh, the steak dinner against steak shop number two was by far one of the best uh, moments, uh, one of the best moments there. Because uh, it's like, we had so many different cuts, they showed you exactly what part of the animals that you were eating. So it was like, they knew exactly what they were doing. All these if there's can wind coming by, I have to put my hand over that. Um, but I've not had... A um, a beef dinner like that in a long ass time. It was such a very, very, very long time, and I'm so grateful I actually got a chance to have that once. As you guys would know, I tried to have it yesterday, fully booked because it was a fucking Sunday and it was the holidays for the Sakura, so it's like, fuck, I should have known that. Um, other moments, got so many. If it comes to shopping and everything, the biggest highlights are finding things in shops like, as you guys know, like Book Off, Super Potato, Hard Off, Mandrake, other like second hand shops. Like, literally, I picked up stuff that was uh, not even in a Book Off or Mandrake or a like Hard Off. I was picking up stuff that was like unexpected to find. And of course, that 2500 yen Yu Gi Oh tin. That is English. That freaking shocked me by far, people. I was not expecting to find something that cheap. Because you go ahead and find that in the UK, whether you go to get it from Card Empire or Chaos Cards or Geek Retreat, anywhere like that, they're going to freaking sell that for like at least 60, 70 quid easily. Because it's a freaking old tin. 2008 that tin was. 2008. Whew. That's a long time ago, people. A very long time ago. Uh, well, sister. Um, of course, recently, about a, a day or two, we finally got ourselves the um, the YA, the, yeah, the, the Yakuza um, karaoke CD. Was not expecting to find that. Especially, yeah, it was quite expensive for what it was. 4,500 yen for 14 songs. That's, uh, that's definitely fetching a, a pretty hefty price tag. Um, I was express. I was like said things that, um, but besides the them ones, what else that really gave me a shock that, that I actually finally picked up Michigan. I picked up Michigan from hell for two thousand plus yen. Jesus Christ! You know how much that thing sells for on eBay? One hundred dollars for a Japanese coffee. Ooh, that was a hell of a fucking vibe. <laughs> um, yeah, we did not get a chance to get ourselves Rule of Rose, but like I said though, it was a it was a look of the draw. I thought I had my hands on it. Sadly, I missed out on it. Um, there was only one copy of it in the whole area of Tokyo, and the only way to get it was to order it online, and that really pissed me off. Even if it was 17,000 yen, I would have done that in a freaking heartbeat. So they missed out on it. But it doesn't really matter, I'm sure I can find it again in the near future. Like I said, I made it in 2025, I may find it then. Maybe more cops may turn up. <laughs> uh, 
what else is there that's, that's like a fucking hell of a freaking moment? Party, the party scenery this time. We didn't even we, we didn't even go to ultraviolet this time. We went to so many different bars. We went to that like, Nigerian bar. We went to this big massive club bar. We this beer pong bar. We went to so many freaking clubs. And I got to meet so many new friends, new people. I did them all on Facebook. We partied. We enjoyed our conversation. We enjoyed our time together. Go on, go on, duck swim. The duck just dived. <laughs> that is a golf here. He's proper fishing. Uh, oh, he's, he's, he's like a fish. <laughs> but yeah, um, what else that's is like a hell of a freaking moment over here. Uh, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards, that was the biggest downer, I'd say. Because I cannot blame Trip Japan, I can't blame the Pokemon Center, I can't blame anything like that. I still blame Logan Paul, with that bullshit of um, making all these scam art, you know, all these scalpers turn up out of nowhere. It was alright when the scalpers were only going after shoes and, I don't know, handbags and t-shirts and all that lot. But when it comes to freaking TCG cards where you play, get the cards to play the games, is a completely different story. So it's like I wanted the booster boxes that I wished I could have got here. Well, pretty much retail price, but you couldn't even get them as retail price, you have to get them as lottery. And again, you can only get the lottery thing if you uh pretty much a citizen in Japan. But luckily for me though, I did get fortunate and I did pick them up. Pretty much almost double the price. Maybe if I'm unfortunate, triple the price, which is still quite freaking hefty, but at least I got the items and they will get opened up on the channel for you guys in the near future. Mystery Cubes I was quite shocked to find, to be honest. Um, a lot of our stores don't do Mystery Cubes anymore because, so, of course, it's the value of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards. Um, near the end of the end of the trip, we had that little store that had their mystery cubes, but they were 5,000 yen, so you land about 10,000 to even 25,000 yen per cube. That must mean they have some freaking high value cards in there. If I did turn up, if I still had shit tons of money with me, I would have done it, but either way, I had no weight left to, you know, keep in my luggage, because if I did that, I would have been way overweight and something had to be left behind. Um, but you may be thinking though, what else, it's like, there is the highlights, but what are the downfalls, what's the um, things that you wish that could have been better? Oh, well, the downfall was that I never really got a chance to speak to Omar at all on this trip, which does hurt because I really wanted to see him, I wanted to see his wife, I wanted to see him all, I really wanted to see him at one day. We got close to seeing each other, but of course, things happen, things change, plans had to change around, and we never got that chance, which is still a freaking ball. Like, I wanted to go fishing, couldn't get to fishing because the sun was too hot. And when it's that hot, you don't get fish, and pretty much a lot of people do get sunburned or sunstroke. So it's like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I burn too easily. Um, Going to Omar's bar as well. Um, Ultraviolet as well. Didn't get to Ultraviolet this year. I was expecting to go to Ultraviolet at least once this year, but no, I didn't even go to it. I didn't even get to Rapongi this year. I thought to myself, do I go to Rapongi? The only place to go there is because of Ultraviolet, and then didn't go. Um, do I regret it? Nah, I don't. The, the club, the club scene that I went this time was absolutely amazing. Uh, what else did I not regret that I did not go to? Disneyland. Um, there's a big massive event happening right now because of Sakura and didn't get a chance to go and do that. I may get a chance in 2025 when I'm with Beth because Beth is a Disney fan slash Star Wars fan. She would want to go to Disneyland and I, to be honest, I'd do it with her. Um, if it was like, if, like I said, if I was with somebody and they wanted to go and do Disneyland for that day, Hands up, I would go there in a heartbeat. And you guys know how much I do like Disneyland and all that lot, but I don't like fucking rides, so she can go on the ride, I'll watch the bags. <laughs> I'll review the food. <laughs> um, what else, that's, um, What was a bit of a downer as well with here? Um, 
the down as well. I think I've actually noticed since the changes and everything, Akihabara's changed a lot. Especially the arcade. The arcade was the biggest downfall for me. I was not impressed with the arcade. Um, of course, Bandai Namco, they're absolutely amazing, but I'll tell you the truth of people, do not have an arcade that's filled with the same freaking machine. It's not fun. It's like I went to one port and I was looking Gundam machines, the same Gundam machine, at least seven times. It's like you don't need seven. You need at least, you need at most three machines. And all of us have to be different. I didn't even get a chance to see House of the Dead here. You know Scarlet Door? The one I had to line up for in 2017? You didn't even find it over here this time. So, like I said, it is made by Sega. So, like I said, Sega has lost everything from the arcade. So a lot of the Sega arcades must have disappeared. But luckily for me though, Scarlet, um, Scarlet Dawn is in the UK. So I can go back there and play that when I go to an arcade club. Um, Street, literally, there's nothing really much to really say, it's just, this trick's been absolutely amazing, it really has. A lot of people have said to me though, oh, obviously this is your third time, third time means it's going to be absolutely terrible, it's not, you're not going to enjoy it as you used to, but, no, I absolutely enjoyed every minute of it, once again, um, it, it, it ties with 2017's trip, because it's so many different things happened. It 100% beats 2016, so are Yugi Boy Joe, but it, when it was our first time, it was ace, but doing it on your own, it was so much fun for me, it's so much fun. If you do come back to Tokyo, go on your own, mate, it's definitely worth it. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm going to turn this camera off for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and relax and some, some music, I'm just going to sit here for a bit, have a bit of a drink and everything, and uh, enjoy the breeze. So, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Why is it always me that every time I walk around when it's like my final days of Tokyo, I stumble upon a wedding? <laughs> always. Love the couple. And that's the tune where everybody goes home. Now, I've got one thing left to do, people. And that's to say farewell to Uncle and Ryan. Oh, speak of the devils. There's the kids now. All fucking off back home. Well, that was a great farewell from Uncle... Brian and the good old chef. Thank you, boys. Was not expecting to get that from them, to be honest. Um, I just thought a pint with them would just be suffice, but they gave me a freaking bottle of cheetah single grain Japanese whiskey. It's a fucking good bottle as well. Jesus. You may be thinking, does that over overweigh my fucking luggage? Just did it. I am literally underweight by literally a few grams. I am one lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> That's happened to me all the time for this travel. Now, anyhow, what time is it now? It's 1900 hours right now. I've literally got 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4. I've got nine hours of sleep to try and catch up with now. So, Pretty much, if you hear anything from me now, it'll be pretty much waking up in the morning and sodding off straight down to the lobby and heading straight to the airport. Sad thing to say is that this is the, the final end now. Um, now, a lot of people do say to me that now this is like a very, very touching situation here because people have asked me, Dobsy, what happens if anything did go bad down the line when in the future, meaning pretty much end of the end of life what would I really want now I always say bucket lists are always my thing things to do before you die and I've always said it to many many people friends family know it 
loved ones know it, literally everybody knows this who's close to me. If I did die, let's say tomorrow, whether by any means necessary, I want to be put back here, scattered here. So, of course, yes, buried, yeah, that's perfectly fine, yeah, put some of my ashes in the United Kingdom, but I want you to put my other part of me back here in the rising sun. That's how I want it. So, this is the end of, of the day, people. I'm going to go to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Sayonara. So, it's now Tuesday the 21st, people. Time is 5.35, and my ride turns up at 6.10. I woke up around about 5 o'clock, but I woke up a few times uh, throughout the night just to make myself know that I'm waking up. Um, <sighs> I'm going to lose message me. Um, sorry about that. I just had to reply to someone then. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, this is the last bit now, people. Say so goodbye to this hotel room. Say goodbye to the Dame de Ney room. Say goodbye to the back of my tire room, if you guys want to call it that. It's exactly the same, it's pretty much was the same room. The only thing that they changed is just you changed the pictures around. That's all they did. Because I know exactly what room it was. And boy am I going to be missing this energy drink, people. Um, I don't think we get this one in the UK. Um, Hyperzone energy, if we do, awesome. If not, never mind. It tastes way better than Red Bull, it tastes way better than Monster Energy. So, and it's not as, it's not as lethal. Anyhow, um, everything's all been packed. I've weighed everything about it. Um, the purple one is a hundred, like, hundred, maybe two hundred grams lighter and the um, body bag is literally just on, just, just under and of course you got my normal hand luggage which I'm taking with me Now, a lot of people would ask me as well, people, I mean, obviously, would you get stopped by customers and all that lot because you've got so much stuff like, that looks like you could probably resell over in the UK I may do, um, but I don't think I will because everybody's from this in Tokyo. I know so many people who've come over here, especially people from, um, if you guys know the company, so fun, they've done it before. Most of the time they do um, send it away by post. We are back. So, this is the final time, people. Um, 5.41. Definitely gonna miss this energy drink, people. This, this energy drink has been spot on throughout this journey has kept me awake, has given me enough energy to go along, spot on. So, time to say goodbye to this old uh, back of my tie, dammy dunny room, whatever you guys want to call it, it's pretty much my hotel room, you guys know that. Anyhow, it's been a hell of a journey people, it really has, um, to be honest, it's been that much of a journey, I had to use two FM SIM cards to um, do all of my filming, people. I've used up my whole big one, which was 128 gigabytes. Now I'm using my 64 gigabyte one to finish the rest of the recordings and the pictures. So, what's left for me to do now? Literally, my, all my bags packed. All my bags have all been packed up. Um, I've got my um, Wi-Fi finder, and I need to go and give back to the hotel. Uh, not to the hotel, to the airport before I leave. Now some people will be probably questioning me saying, obviously how the fuck are you going to get all that lot of road customs? Easy. Everybody does it. There's people that I know personally, like um, you have the little guys from uh, Soul Fun who literally did it themselves. You have your Card Empire who did it as well. And most of the time they, they got it just to sell anyway, and they never got stopped. Um, probably the guys from Soft Fun had more ways around it because they had, you know, they had delivery stuff like they boxed things up to get shipped over to the UK. 
because they had so much shit. But I'm sure they did have quite a lot of it in their luggage as well, so there's that. Um, but the guys from Card Empire, they didn't do any luggage, they literally put it all in their suitcase. They had a grand total of seven suitcases to take back with them. It did cost them quite a bit of money, but they did not um, pay custom, didn't pay um, any extra fees of what items were inside. Now, like I said, they can check my normal bag if they want to. The only thing that's in there that may catch their eyes is literally Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and that is it. <laughs> so it's just Yu-Gi-Oh cards mostly. And there's probably two of the normal um, thingy bags that have a few um, Famicom games in it, but that's it. All the rest of it, like my PlayStation Edge and all that lot, and the dual discs and everything, is all in there. So all I need to tell them though is to make sure they put a fragile sticker on it, and they know that it's um, it's sorted. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this energy drink and then start sending my, my um, luggage date straight down because my ride turns up at 6.10 in the morning. So, I'm going to finish this drink off and I'll see you guys at the airport. See you in a bit. Okay, so pretty much been uh, checked everything, bags have been checked, all that lot's been checked. Thanks for uh, once again though, uh, bag got beeped. <laughs> um, this time it was nothing really serious or anything, it was just that they can identify a specific, specific object. Guess what it was? It was a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> um, at least this time they didn't need to fumble with my bum. <laughs> there you go. Anyhow, so pretty much I've got a waiting game now. But at least I'm in, I'm in the waiting game with Anita, so I'm happy. So there's duty free around here. Even though I've only got 1,700 yen, I'm sure hope I can get myself the Godiva chips if I can get them. So let's hope to God we do. Shit! They're in there. Fucking locked up. Bastards. Well, the wait is on fire over. I finally got it. Uh, 800 yen though. Well, that's the same price it was last time, but I knew at one point I had to save, had to save some yenny pennies for it. And even though I only got one box, I still got them two Godiva ones that were white chocolate, so we can need to test them when I get home, and which one's the best. I still think the milk chocolate ones were the best ones, but it doesn't matter either way, I still got them. Now, next thing I'm going to need to go and do is go for the toilet, and then after that, try and find some beverages, and probably a few snacks for what yen I've got left so this is gonna be quite fun to be honest because I think I've got about like a thousand yen left I think maybe not even that probably 900 maybe 800 yen left which is very 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 slim <laughs> at least I got myself a bag of chips that I took from the hotel room which is good I got myself a bottle of water why are you so dark concentrate on me please thank you um, so yeah, I just need to get myself a little bit sorted out, hopefully find something that actually is useful in the vending machines and uh, relax and wait for my boarding because there's nothing really much left to do in this airport really, even though Haneda Airport is like one of the best ones to get into because there's lots of stuff to do in here but like I said, I'm going home, I might as well relax, listen to music, catch some Z's and then head back to where the rain keeps on flowing and the wind keeps on blowing and that is the United Kingdom, England. <laughs> so the land of Manchester United and Manchester City and all that bullshit. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. So that is everything spent in one day, in which in two weeks. 770,000 yenny pennies. That's equivalent to over 5,000 pounds, people. And I spent it all in two weeks. And you may be thinking, the stuff that we saw in the video logs and everything, that's definitely not over five grand's worth. That's because I've been out drinking, I've been out partying, I've been out binging food and everything. Like I said, food and water and booze and everything does count up in money, people. It really does. Like I said, I went clubbing with, with Uncle and and Brian and everybody else, it does add up. But um, in 2025, 
Okay. Probably the booze will probably be a little bit less than this time because, like I said, I've not been drinking for such a long time, so I just went out fucking binge drinking all the way through. It's been insane. But like I said, I still kept myself healthy. I kept myself doing my exercises as always, and I've always felt fine. Um, I rarely had a hangover. I mainly slept it all the way through. If I did, I'm in perfect fine for this whole holiday. I've, been, I've not been ill once, which is fan freaking fantastic, people. Because, like I said, 2016, I was extremely ill all the way through it. I had the worst throat infection ever. Uh, 2017, I probably had like a minor headache at one point, but I was perfectly fine after that. But this time, not a single illness, not a single headache, not a single migraine, not a single positive reading, nothing. I've been perfectly fine, which is ace, to be honest, people. Especially for what we've been going through the past couple of years, that is a freaking miracle. Anyhow, like I said, what did I spend on my last few yenny pennies? Literally, people, I came into this ho this airport with 1,000 and uh, 500 yen. So, I, of course, I bought them chocolate chips, which I'm super, super, super happy I bought them. 800 yen, cannot complain, because on Amazon, you have to pay £40 for them, plus £10 postage. That's 50, no, £30 for the item. £10 for the postage. That's £40 for a box of crisps that are covered in chocolate. Talk about freaking luxury. Jesus, good thing I bought them over here then. <laughs> I'll make sure I buy them ne more next time. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else did I buy? Of course, I bought myself supplies just to keep myself going throughout the airport and on the airplane because, like last time, it was alright from Manchester to London because I wasn't there for long, but when it went from Man London to here, Oh, it was a pain. It was such a pain. It wasn't bad. The, the, the plane ride was perfectly fine. It was just that trying to get attention to the air hostess when you're wearing a mask and it was extremely quiet. It was like waving at Stevie Wonder. Fucking pointless. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and have um, pretty much this like um, brioche with chocolate, like a croissant. croissant? And um, yeah, and uh, walk it down with some water, so I'm probably fill up my um, bottle with uh, tea inside it because I need it a lot. And then also go for a piss before we enter the flight because I know for sure, I don't know why, I have a weird feeling that this plane is going to be fucking packed again. I have a good feeling it's going to it's going to be, but if it is, fair enough. Headphones on, fast asleep. Probably some probably some sleeping tablets as well at the same time. So yeah. Uh, leave me be with my um, chocolate brioche and uh, a drink, and I'll uh, see you when I get the plane. Bakane, anta shinjiru bakari de tsuyoi onna no furi setsunasa no yokaze abiru.
the back. And now it's time to get the big out of it. All the bags. How the fuck am I gonna fit through this? Fuck me. There we go, we're through. Holy crap. Tears you for the people. That's actually really, really quick to be honest. Was not expecting that to be that flipping fast. Have a good night, pal. And we are done. Let's go see Mama Dobbs. My one question is, where is she? And there she is. Yeah. Okay, people, so the time is... Oh, God, what time is it now? I have no idea. It's late, I know that. But I just thought I might as well distribute everything out so you guys have an idea on what I bought within the 15 days. Surprisingly, by the look of it, I bought less video games than I did last time, to be honest. I bought, many, I bought a lot more of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, and way more DVDs than I did with video games, which is quite surprising for me. But anyhow, let's go and have a look first. So as you guys already know, that one down there, that little figurine, sadly it did get damaged on the way back home, but I won that as a prize, so pretty much that's there as a freebie. You got the bag full of Pokemon figurines, all the way from, uh, not figurines, Pokemon plushes that are from the Pokemon Center. You guys know exactly what is in there because we just did it all in the videos. We got ourselves some controllers from a, um, a trader. They were all 100 yen a piece. So you have N64, some GameCube, some PS2 stuff, some Wii stuff, some amazing stuff right there. This is the place, this is the, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon selection. There's some very, very rare gems there. So you got yourself some boost boxes from Pokemon. You got yourself that 2008 tin right there. You have the dual disc, which sadly did get a little bit damaged on the way traveling back here. Some boost boxes did, did get a bit damaged. But like I said, they are going to get opened up on the channel, so there's nothing wrong with it there. We've got some custom sleeves, as you guys can see. Some mystery cubes, which hopefully you guys are going to be looking forward to in the future. You got yourself all the Kit Kat flavors, that as you guys can see. So we got yourself like strawberry, lime, peanut butter and jelly, peach flavor, tea flavor, banana flavor. We got ourselves the uh, cheetah whiskey, um, Japanese whiskey that I got from Uncle for the gift. We got ourselves the Japanese wave from Coca Cola, some Pokemon um, sweets from the actual Pokemon Center. A bag of mystery sweets for my niece. We got the Godiva potato chips and the Royce potato chips that you guys know. That's the ones that I actually were going after. I thought they were Godiva, but they weren't. Here are all the games. We have finally got all four of the original Pokemon games. We have now completed all of Senran Kagura. We've completed all of Fatal Frame, all of Yakuza. We've now got Michigan, we've got all of um, Shin Megami Tensei, we've got some UK PS4 games including Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 which is still an extremely expensive game and three other games I've never heard of, well that one I have heard of but I didn't know it had a sequel, another Senran Kagura game, some accessories from the Virtual Boy, Game Boy um, Advance SP, a Game Boy Advance SP right there, the Nintendo DS Lite that we picked up for 1,500 yen, the Yakuza soundtrack for the karaoke, which is lovely. We finally got Sephiroth and Corin. Some Famicom games. We got some documentals. Like I said, people, there was a grand total of nine seasons altogether. We are missing quite a few of them. Same thing with um, with um, Gaku no Sukai. We've got some Keyblade keychains, more Shumigani Tensei stuff, and of course, the PlayStation Edge. Holy crap, people, that is a lot of stuff. And I can't wait to do that all over again in 2025. <laughs> Anyhow, people, this has been a hell of a journey, people. 15 days of pure awesomeness, absolutely pure awesome vlogs, awesome experiences. Experiences that I'll be cherished with me for the rest of my life. Anyhow, this is the end of the full-on vlogs now. The next episode will be all the pictures of the whole entire journey. 
So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure you stay tuned for that for the next day. With that being said, the peel on goes to you guys for subscribing. And this has been the whole adventure of Japan 2023. Cheerio!